Previously, the models tried their hand at interviewing boy bands The Wanted. You're the wanting. Wanted, sorry. God, what is this? It's giggles time. Yeah. <laughs> the girls were kept on their toes with their toughest shoot yet. It might not be good enough to stay at the same time. Just... And in a shock double elimination, Amy and Holly left the competition. It's been so Coming up, the girls get dropped in at the deep end. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I can't. I can't do it. Worst experience in my life. Before facing Nikki Johnston for their most emotional photo shoot so far. Well, she's obviously got raw emotion there, but hello, I wasn't seeing it. And at the elimination, guest judge Katie Price doesn't hold back. Saka. Um, she hasn't fit the job description. Jog on. <laughs> After a tough day, I think it was nice to sit down and have a glass of champagne and just sort of celebrate that we have made it this far because it is an achievement. We've come sort of halfway. For us seven final girls in the competition. <laughs> My yes, beautiful seven. girls. Beautiful girls. That's it. <laughs> Cheers. 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 We started with 13 girls and now there's seven of us. I think everyone's just realising that the game's on now. Email, girls! <laughs> girls, the competition is getting tougher by the day and tomorrow you have another big challenge ahead of you. Be brave, as tomorrow night we'll be throwing you straight in at the deep end. Love, Elle. <gasps> oh, Fashion. that's like water. Throwing oh, you straight in Water. Yeah, water. Oh. Tomorrow night. Yeah, I can't yeah. swim, so this is going to be fun. Oh, God. How are you with water? I'm okay with water as long as there's nothing cows in there. So if there's oh, yeah. <laughs> nothing cows in there. We just had an owl mail, which was something like, we're going to chuck you in at the deep end, which is obviously something to do with a water photo shoot. I can't swim and I'm really scared of deep water, so it's going to be a challenge for me on its own. It's going to be a really long way. Like, I don't think I'll be able to sleep that much, but hopefully we'll find out tomorrow and then see what it be. We got taken from the house, went to this big posh hotel, and no one was telling us what was going on. We got to some hotel, and we, we went straight into hair and makeup and styling. It's a bit of a mystery at the moment because um, normally we're greeted by someone and told about giving our brief beforehand, but again, it's like another hair and makeup before we know what we're really doing. It's like they do this glitter, but they use something that it wouldn't come off. So I think it's for underwater photo shoot. Yeah, like a mermaid. Yeah. Underwater. When I walked into the aquarium, it was my worst expectations realised. I knew that this is it, you know, we're going underwater with fish. As we approached Grace and, um, and Lauren, the client, there was a huge tank with lights in and I knew we'd be going in there. Hello, girls. You must have found out there's something quite fishy going on. We are here today at London Sea Life Aquarium for your next photo shoot. Well, first things first, I need to introduce you to your client, which is Lauren. Hi. Hi, girls. Today you're going to be modelling my jewellery from Westwood Rocks. The collection is made from pearls, coral and other sea gems. And for that reason, I need you to embody the sea goddess look. And that's why we're going to be shooting in there. Oh, is that a shark I see? <laughs> <laughs> there were a few excited giggles and a few nervous ones as well. And I looked straight at Tanya because I, I know how she is with water. And she did not look happy at all. Whilst you've all seen The Little Mermaid, it's not all fun. This is a serious shoot and there are some hazards. 
I'm going to pass you over to Rachel to tell you exactly what you are facing in there today. So just to point out a few of the animals that we have in our ocean display here that you might come across when you slip into the water. We have got two female turtles. Uh, they are harmless and if they become too much of a nuisance our divers will keep them away from you so don't worry about those. Just worry about the sharks. <laughs> we have got two species of sharks in there. They're, they're relatively small. We've got some bonnet heads and some black nosed sharks. The main thing is just not to give any sort of uh, sudden movements and sort of thrash about too much. Well personally I'm actually quite jealous because I'm dying to get in there. But it's not all about me. What it is about is Imogen because she is number one. Off you go, Imogen. Let's go. <laughs> I was really scared because the tank was so big and it was so deep. And then Tanya got really upset and she kind of took the limelight off me. So I thought that's good. I can just stay in the corner and focus. <gasps> you okay? Yeah. When I was waiting for my turn, I was winding myself up more. My nerves got to me, I was trying to calm down, but it just weren't working. Going first didn't phase me at all. I just sort of thought, well, I'd just get in there and do what I've got to do. You get in the water and you have to, like, test, putting your head under. And um, it kind of said, oh, you won't be able to sit. And I was like, nah, all right, OK, I'll probably be able to see a bit. But, like, literally, when you're under there, you cannot see. It's just blue. This must be underwater love. Here we got some action. She looks terrified. I think that was a. I'm trying to pose, but no, I'm going to go up again. As soon as you let go of that rope, your body is floating back up to the surface, and I'm like trying to pose, trying to grab onto something. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look easy at all. Her mouth looks a bit strange. Yeah, she looks. Look. Mm. Mm. look what they're doing just in the middle of our photo shoot. <laughs> oh my God, mm. Marty Turtles. <laughs> So how was that? It was good. I'm, I'm so, it's, it's, really, it's so much harder than you think, but it's good. You know, Stacey is very quiet, but I think she's got a backbone of steel. My bet is that she's going to be brilliant. When I went into the tank and got down into the water, it looked as if there was, like, stuff underneath you, like the biggest drop I've seen in my life. Your heart's going really, really fast. You can't hear nothing. You can just hear your ears popping and see a big light. And sometimes you seem like blur grey things, which must have been the fish, and you thought, crap. She's just repeating what she did before, and her face was, like, really odd. Poses weren't on my mind. Getting back up out of the water was on my mind. It was, like, so high up. You didn't think you were going to get out. It was a scary experience. <laughs> yeah, freezing. It was quite scary, so it was, but hopefully it got some shot. Worst experience in my life. Coming up, Tanya finds herself in troubled waters. You have to do this. You know what happens if you don't do it. The models fail to impress photographer Nikki Johnston. Hello. That completely defeats the whole band. I'm furious. And at the elimination, bringing her underwater shoot experience is guest judge Katie Price. That's got to be one of the most hardest shoots I've ever done in my life. So I can't wait to see what you did. When I first got in, yeah, they, um, they fixed my dress because they thought my dress is really tight, so it's not going to come up. Oh, my God. The first time I just stepped in the water, the dress already was here. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. oh, oh that's not good. That's not a view that I actually want to look at. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> She's a beautiful girl, but from the top. That the guy stands in here, he's like, oh, God, here you are, you know, put, put the swimsuit and, like, pull your dress. I'm like, ha-ha, you're joking, you know? How is she going to get her knickers? Easy mistake to make, girls. Oh, here she comes. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, wow. The ray's getting in the way. <laughs> oh, no, it upstaged her. It was amazing, actually. I I'm, I'm really happy that I did it, really. <laughs> When it was coming up to my turn, that's when I started freaking out a bit inside. I wasn't really scared about the turtles or the sharks or anything. It was just getting down to the bottom. When I first went under, I thought, no, I'm not going to be able to do this. And then I only like, bobbed my head under the water and I thought, I'm not going to be able to do this. <gasps> that is 
weird. <laughs> the first girl went down, um, stayed down there for quite a long time, well, they said I did anyway, come back up and they said it was really good what I was doing, but I wasn't low enough, so then I knew that I had to get even deeper. Wow. An initial look of fear, but actually she went for it. Yeah. On my last dive, I went really low. Just kind of stayed down there as long as I possibly could until um, they actually dragged me up at one point and said, you're not a fish, like, <laughs> don't stay down there for so long. I think she's probably nailed it there. She she actually looked more serene in the face than yeah. I've seen her in any other shot. She looked a lot more comfortable. You did brilliantly. <laughs> we should take a free dive. <laughs> When I come out afterwards, I was like, oh my God, I'll never do that again. But when you actually reflect on it, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, it was, it was definitely good. This is probably the worst photo shoot that anyone could give me. It's a bit nervous. Uh, when I've seen the sharks, I've seen how big they are, but they only be like little ones that we've seen, but they're quite big. Um, I have like a phobia of them like, biting me or something. That's why when I go away, I don't go in the sea at all. I'm interested to see what Tanya's going to do. She'll leave the s*** herself or she'll be really good. So, can you do it? Yeah. Tell me you can do it. Yeah. Can you do it? Do you want to win this thing? Yes. OK. When it was my turn, I um, climbed down into the pool. <laughs> Big stingray goes straight past me, touches my foot. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> then I see, like, a little shark go past me. Just, oh, God. Just relax, breathe out. Just put your head into water. I went down, pinched my nose, and I just felt, I felt like someone was pushing my head down. I really wanted to do it, but I couldn't do it, so it was the hardest decision, because I just literally thought, I'm not going to get free now, I'm, I'm going to go home. She's not doing it. I can't believe that. Sweet, I don't think you should get out because you won't go back in. Come on, you've got to do this. You've got to do this. You have to do this. You know what happens if you don't do it. You've got to do it. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I can't. I was really, really scared. I was like petrified. I was just, you know, I can do anything else, but I can't. I just couldn't do that. Tanya came out and she was in tears, she was inconsolable and it didn't help being next because I immediately I became more nervous than I have than I've been the whole day. She will a rock. Come on, Jess. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, she's oh <laughs> yes, Jess! She's so good. Oh my god, she, she is so amazing. good. She's pretty much on a level with Anastasia. Yeah, I was going to say, definitely. Both of them have that same sort of air of calmness. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm a bit nervous. I hope I got the shot. It took me a while. So. I was the last one who had a photo shoot in the water, but I'm really rubbish in holding my breath without holding my nose with my hand, you know? So I thought I'm going to be in trouble because of that. Can I try with my hand? No. Yuste, by her previous performances, should be in the top three. She should be very, very strong. I kept drinking water, you know? And every time I went underwater to, to get a picture, I was actually drowning. <coughs> I don't think. She did anything that stood out, and I don't think we're going to get a good picture out of that. She didn't, she just didn't relax enough. I was just terrified, because my lungs and my stomach was full of water. I dropped so much water. I 
So I just ran straight to the loo, you know, like I thought I'm gonna throw up all the water. It was horrible. Me and Anastasia were waiting at, um, up on the top of the tank for you say to come out and she just came running past us and we were like, oh my God, what's going on? We ran into the bathroom to follow her and she was just like, sort of like coughing up over the, over the toilet. <laughs> Drank like two liters of water. Disgusting. <laughs> you are funny, man. You know what? You're scared to death, and then you laugh. Um, I am really disappointed that I didn't do it. I'm literally beating myself up about it. If she's not gonna do it today, I don't think she's gonna stay in this competition. I think the judges will see her. Very yeah. Not safe? Yeah. If they say, her, come on, is it fair? Is it fair to all the It's a ridiculous joke. When I came down and told the girls that I couldn't do it, the only person that stood out was Jess, and she gave me a hug. The rest of them are just fake. I really hope none of them ones win. I really do, because they don't deserve it at all. We'll see what the next few days bring. She may have a chance to redeem herself, but I doubt it. It's, it's a pretty big deal not having a photo. In my eyes, she should be going home for that. I think it's her time to go home, actually. If Al does give me the second chance, then I will grab it and I will have it, despite what anyone else thinks about them, because I can just f off. I'm here to win it. After a late night with a photo shoot um, last night, we woke up to an L mail. <gasps> I think it's time for a treat. <gasps> Meet me in one hour at London's world famous Savoy Hotel. <gasps> Dress up, love oh. L. Let's go. Can we go? Let's go. <laughs> Magnificent final seven. Cheers! <clears throat> Everyone's really quiet on because everyone's just like waiting for Elle walk through that door. Mm. Hello, Hi. girls! Oh, this would be my place. How nice of you to invite me for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Could you yeah, all look so proven like proper? <laughs> Did you get your stuff for me or for the hotel? <laughs> I just thought um, that it'd be really nice for me to get to spend a bit of time with you. Well, obviously, if you win this competition, it's going to change your life. So, who needs their life changing? <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, this has changed my life. You know, I could have repeated my mother's experience, and she is an amazing woman, really capable woman, but my mom had me when she was 16. She had three children before she was 20. She raised us by herself. But I could have done that. I could have stayed in Australia and just repeated the same thing, but I wanted something different for myself. So you stay. You know, you've made changes in your life because you've come from Lithuania to create a new life for yourself here. My family back home, they were wealthy, you know. I had everything I wanted and when crisis hit and my parents lost everything and they came here. So now I still live like in a council flat, you know. My mom lives from benefits and it's completely like changed my uh, view to the life and uh, I know I had everything and now why <laughs> so? And when I had everything, you know, like, I don't have nothing basically. And you start, you know, like, liking things like friendship, you know, your dreams. Just... When I know when I had everything, and it means nothing when you just don't have what it is inside, you know. Absolutely. And Stacy, why do you think this influenced your life so much? When my mum and dad try to give me as much opportunities as I can. They put me through education, but I'm not a very smart girl. I struggle to learn. And then obviously going through a bad experience in high school was the worst time in my life. People would like stole my underwear and put it in the showers and sucked it. And, 
And that's why I'm very glad for confidence. You want to prove to people that you're beautiful on the outside and the inside. I know that I'm beautiful now because you took me in and that made me believe in myself. And seeing my pictures on the big screen, I'm like, wow, was that me? So that's given me... So now I know I'm beautiful and I want to keep going and I don't want to give up. Imogen, I noticed you had a tear in your eye. I think there's things that happened to everyone in their past that, that makes them want to change, makes them want to do something different. I think that's why we're here. So what I think is really beautiful in all of you is the, is the real willingness to step outside your comfort zones and to admit that you're afraid and to admit that this is really, really important to you. It's been really nice talking with you. Thank you. Very much. Coming up, emotions overflow at the photo shoot. At the elimination, the girls are put under pressure. Who do you think perhaps should be going home at this point? And it all boils over. I am so f up, and she's just f I'm so scared. Hi. Hi. Hi, girls. Nice to see you all. Hi. My name's Nikki Johnson. You may recognise me from previous series of Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model. Now, as you know, the competition is really heating up. Now we're down to the last seven. And today's challenge is to produce your most emotive shot ever, because I want you to cry on camera. Oh. <laughs> but it also has to look beautiful as well as emotional. So why don't you go off and get ready and think about it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later. Thanks. Do you think if the judges see your picture and it's a really good picture, they might give you another chance? I hope the judges will give me another chance because um, I did like, literally mess up and I am really gutted that I didn't do that shoot. That's nice. So what have you been thinking about? Um, my daughter. Is she the main thing that makes you sad? Yes. I went through a traumatic pregnancy as well, so... Oh, did you? So she's very special. I think I've done OK in the photo shoot, cos I, I did have tears down my face, and when I left, I couldn't stop crying anyway, so... You know, it was real and it was true to the camera that I was expressing how I was feeling. That helps. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cry now. Come on, run. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, God, well done. <laughs> I found the crying challenge quite hard, to be honest. I know I didn't do the best. Well done. Lovely. To end away and glance back to me. Yes. With Jane, when she came in, she looked really emotional. I thought, oh, we're going we're gonna to get a good one here. But then she just completely dried up. Does it look at the light? Thank you, Imogen. I thought I'd finish the show, and as I sort of went out, it was sort of almost a relief. It sort of overcome me, and I sort of got even more emotional. Nicky called me back in to sort of get a couple more shots, which I suppose for him, that's sort of what he wants. Sit, lean forward. We feel tight bringing her back in, but that is the point of the exercise, you know, to get this emotive shot. And you can't fake that, really. I, I wouldn't say I'm a very elegant crier, and so my eyes go all red and my face swells up, and it was, yeah, it was quite draining. It's hard to to bring them up, bring up the feelings. If you cut onions, you know, when you cut onions, you cry. Onions! Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sh I'm gonna cry so much. No, one second. You know what? Don't cut it all yet. Just take it with you. And each time on the shoot when he's asking you to cry, just bring onion. Oh, it's too much. Yeah, it's too much, but it doesn't matter. It's emotional. <laughs> <laughs>
Keep the chin up so you catch that light in those eyes. You've got beautiful eyes. I know I didn't do well. I done rubbish. I didn't get one tear out. I didn't. I forgot about the pictures because I was trying to cry. So I didn't pose proper. So not a good shoot for me. <laughs> well, Stacey's obviously got raw emotion there. But hello, I wasn't seeing it. Beautiful. Just glance to me here with the chin up. That's nice. There. Very difficult photo shoot. Actually, we had to show emotion tears and to be pretty at the same time. She's beautiful and we got a fantastic shot. She's the favourite so far. It's very easy to cry when someone is telling you sad stories, but it's really hard to cry when someone is forcing you, especially in front of the camera, when you actually have to pose as well. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Onions didn't work at all, girls, believe me. Uh, I was thinking about my little brother, whom I haven't seen for one year, and it made me cry because it's so sad. What I thought was Anastasia wiping her eyes with a makeup sponge was absolutely a raw onion. Hello? That completely defeats the whole band. It's not happening for her. I'm furious. Ridiculous. Raw onion. What is the point? Rage on them. It's elimination day for our seven remaining models. Backstage, the judges are getting ready for a busy day as this week it's a double elimination and two girls will be leaving the competition for good. We've got Katie Price in today. I know. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good to see you. And you. Thanks That's for having fun. me on the show. We're all excited to have you. I'll, I'll, I'll try not upset anyone. I'm not saying I'm here to upset anyone, but no, I just no, say, if I think someone looks so good, I'm like, it's well, I, personally, I don't think you look good in there, but I think you look good in that picture. Leading the search for Britain and Ireland's next top model is iconic fashion superstar Elle McPherson. Helping her, her trusted panel of judges. Renowned fashion designer Julian MacDonald. Cutting edge editorial stylist Grace Woodward and international male model Charlie Speed. Joining the panel this week is model and entrepreneur Katie Price. It's time to find out which two girls dream of becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model will be coming to an end. Welcome girls. Now you know sadly we're going to say goodbye to two girls today. To help me with this decision are my judges Grace Woodward, Charlie Speed, Julie McDonald, and our special guest judge today, entrepreneur, Katie Price. Now let's have a look at the prizes. The winner of Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model will get an incredible host of prizes to set her on the road to supermodel stardom. <laughs> this year, the girls will be competing for a contract with leading agency Models One a six-page spread and the cover of Company magazine, a luxury holiday for two to the Sandals Royal Plantation Resort in Jamaica with business class flights courtesy of British Airways, a brand new Peugeot RCZ sports coupe to help get around those important castings, a cosmetics campaign with Revlon, and a £50,000 international campaign with Miss Selfridge, which will feature in over 250 stores across the globe. So this week, girls, we had your raw crying shoot, and we also had the infamous, actually, underwater shoot. Now, you're not the only ones that have done a shoot like this. There's something I'd like you to see right here. So, Katie, how was that for you? That's got to be one of the most hardest shoots I've ever done in my life. You have to worry about your hair being in the right position. You've got to keep your eyes open, breathing in, point your toes, keeping yourself under. So I can't wait to see what you did. So the first girl we have up today is Stacy. So listen, the first shot we're going to see of you today is your crying shot. So Stacy, the brief for this shot was a sort of beautiful interpretation of pain or sadness. I think you're doing a beautiful interpretation of something, but I don't see it as pain or sadness. What do you think, Katie? 
I actually agree with you that I can't see sadness or pain. If anything, you probably look a bit bored to me. So maybe you did better on your underwater shot. Let's have a look at that. Them legs, I'm actually jealous of them long legs of yours. But yeah, I love the pose. I agree with Katie, you know, your body looks really fantastic in the picture, but unfortunately, you know, when it comes to expressing emotions, that doesn't come across in your face. Okay, Stacey, thank you. Thank you very much. And next up, we have Tonya. First of all, we're going to have a look at your crying shot. Are they glycerine tears? Are they real tears? Yeah. It's weird, because you're kind of, like, smiling... But there's tears on it, so I'm confused. This is... You look so plain in this picture. I'm really surprised. OK, so that's your crying shot. Now we're going to have a look at your underwater shot. But no, there's no underwater shot, is there? Why isn't there an underwater shot? Because I'm really scared of sharks and I can't open my eyes underwater. I, I hear you when you say, I'm afraid of sharks. But the reality is, we're not going to put you in a tank where you're at danger. Yeah, you will come across um, jobs where you don't like it, but you've just got to be professional and do it. OK, Tanya, thank you. Can Jade come forward, please? How did you find the crying shoot? To be honest, considering I'm a sensitive person, I did struggle. Oh, that's really interesting. Let's have a look at your shot. This is so beautiful to be. I just want to kiss you. Thank you. I think it's gorgeous. Thank you. So that's your crying shot. Now let's have a look at your underwater shot. Wow. Both your shots are really strong. And um, it's so commendable that you're not comfortable in water and you, and you managed to achieve a shot like this. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, Jade. And my next goal is Anastasia. First of all, we're going to have a look at your crying shot. Anastasia, you know, you're a beautiful girl, and unfortunately, the beauty takes over the sadness in the picture. Now, let's see how you mastered the underwater shot. I mean, I, I like your pictures, and I think you look great, but for me, if you're in water, you want to look like you're all floaty, and, and to me, that's like, you could just do that in the studio. So thank you, Anastasia. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And next up, we have the beautiful Jessica. So listen, the first shot we're going to see of you today is your crying shot. It's not my favourite shot of you. And I do think you need to be careful of how you work the angles of your face. OK, now we're going to have a really good look at your underwater shot. If there was another Bond film, you could be a Bond girl. And the way that you performed on this shoot was astounding. Thank you. Thank you. OK, thank you. And next up, we have Imogen. First of all, we're going to have a look at your crying shot. Oh, no, not the glasses. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see a model. I'm not seeing a full-on model there. Something not working for me there. OK, well, let's have a look at your underwater shot now. I don't know, baby, you get completely lost there. I don't know, the turtle looks more interesting than you in this. You're too far away from the camera, and it's such a shame, because you've come such a long journey to be going home. OK, thank you. OK, thanks. And finally, we have Juste. So why don't we have a look at your crime shot? I don't know if I believe your emotion. <laughs> it's a good headshot. To me, forget the brief. I think you look like a, a supermodel in this. I think you look stunning, beautiful. OK, why don't we have a look at your underwater shot? I don't know. It doesn't look anything like I think you. it looks vile. She looks quite big, butch in that to me. OK, you stay. Thank you. Coming up, the girls are put on the spot. Who do you think perhaps should be going home at this point. And we find out which two girls dream of becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model will be coming to an end.
So girls, as you know now, the judges and I have the really difficult decision to understand which two girls will be leaving the competition. But I was really interested um, in getting some of your feedback. So I'd like to hear from Jessica. Who do you think has the most potential and who do you think has the least potential? You stay, I'd say. She's the full package, it's all there. But at the same time, the person I'd like to see the back of is Yuste because she has the full package and it's all there. <laughs> <laughs> Mark <Marcus>. Reid, <laughs> answer. <laughs> Next, I'd like to hear from Tanya. Who do you think perhaps should be going home at this point? Don't, I can't, I can't, I don't know. I don't think anyone should go home. You can't answer that. Jade. I'd probably say Tanya just because I, I'm scared of deep water and I want this that much that I thought I'm still doing it. Tanya because she has a very editorial look but when we had an editorial photo shoot she didn't get such a great picture. I'd probably have to agree with the other girls in the fact that Tanya didn't do the shoot. Tanya because I was scared myself and I still went for it. I would say Tanya. She has sometimes these like breaks, you know, when she just swears and be, uh, is angry and I don't see her as a top model. So what you said on, in front of her, the bang out was, to be honest, like, I don't swear a lot. For me to well, compose myself and be quiet is because I'm homesick and that's why I tend to distance myself away from the group. For you to stand there and say that I swear and I'm angry all the time. I didn't say all the time. I didn't say that. I said you swear a lot. Yeah, but you were saying that you were angry all the time. You're very sensitive and you're very fake. Considering from the person at boot camp, you were very quiet and now you're being all really loud. Try and be yourself. I'm being myself. No, you're not. Says she swears all the time. And this person and then says she says that you are fake. Yeah, they okay. are fake. So we all are fake here, except her, you know? It doesn't matter, you know, but I mean, I said what I think. I, I have my choice, you know, to say my opinion. She, she and Anastasia are the fake ones. You know, I'm so f***ed up and she just I swear to God. Shut up and let me go! Okay, guys, so we have a really hard job to do right now. We're going to send two girls home. And the first girl we're going to look at is Stacey. Saka. She I'm... hasn't fit the job description. Jog on. Next one. Her face isn't great in this shot, but, you know, her body is, is good. Let's move on. We have Tanya. For me, she started off great, and she's not improving as she goes along. No. Underperforming and then not doing a challenge, to me, spells going home. Okay, let's talk about Jade. She's... I like her. She does look fantastically beautiful in the picture. Well, what can we say? This is great. We all yeah. yeah. Next, we have with my cheeky monkey, Anastasia. Vile. Why don't you like it? Because she's all like, you're in water. Why, why waste a shot in water? You want to be floaty. Vile. Okay, next we have Jessica. This is definitely underwater love, you know? She's soft, she's romantic, so she's very convincing. OK, ooh, this is going to be a different... What do we think about Miss Imogen? You know what? At the end of the day, is she just a plain Jane, a girl next door? There's an element of that. I think she's beautiful. I do think she's got lovely eyes. And now we have you stay. She's stunning. Listen, you can't take a bad picture of this girl. Very difficult to take a bad you know, picture of If there's of her. one girl in the competition I would actually put in my fashion show, it would be her. Great evaluation, guys, and I think now it's just up to us to make a decision. See, now I have seven really, really beautiful girls in front of me. I have five photographs in my hand and as you know these five photographs represent the girls who are still in the running to becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model. The first name, the first girl I'm going to call, has won picture of the week and this goes to 
Jade. Thank you. Well done. Thank you so much. Now the next photograph I have in my hand belongs to Anastasia. Thank you very well much. Done. Thank you. Thank you. Will Jessica come forward, please? This is so magical, this shot. You stay, will you come forward, please? You have been saved by your body of work because this week was not your week. Horrible. Thank you. Thank you. You saved! <laughs> you stay away. <laughs> okay, will the final three girls please come forward? this is really really difficult but I have only one photograph in my hand and this photograph represents the girl who's still in the running to becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model the two names I do not call have to leave immediately so the girl that the judges and I believe has the most potential moving forward and is still in the running to becoming Britain and Ireland's next top model is it's Imogen. Thank you so well much. done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you so I'm really, really proud that I've got to the final seven. To be here is so amazing and I feel so like privileged to be here. I do regret not doing the underwater shoot. If I got a second chance, I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> to be yeah. honest, I couldn't. I thought I might have been going home. I just maybe had high hopes that I wasn't. <laughs> I'm glad I've taken part. I've learned a lot about myself and I've never had a friend, like lots of friends that were girls. I'm just looking forward to getting hope and maybe I'll be able to try modeling again soon. week the girls get a surprise oh! but the producers reveal not all of them will get to enjoy it we left with five girls but unfortunately we've only landed here with four and at the elimination international style icon olivia palermo casts her eye over the wannabe models if you're looking at an editorial you're gonna flip over that page it was not the strongest shot and it all proves too much for jade <laughs> If you want to know how Tanya and Stacey feel about their exit, head to sky.com forward slash B-I-N-T-M, where you can join them for a live chat right now. Next here, we travel to Thailand to explore the world of male to female transgender persons, known by many as ladyboys.